Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today we're taking another look at the Quirk Logic Papier because it has just gotten a new update, update 1.1, which adds quite a few cool things. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are with Papier updated to 1.1 version, which uh, carries a few significant improvements and new features. First, I'm gonna uh, focus on new functionalities and improvements regarding a single workbook. The most obvious one and the, the newest one is that now from update 1.1, you are able to hide the toolbar and it stays hidden, which is kind of cool, which I really, really like because um, yeah, if you live in this one, here then definitely is fine and also it gives a much cleaner option so I think that's gonna be a definitely a plus for a lot of people and the new thing as well is that it now finally remembers what was your last opened page so if I go to another document so let's say maybe this one here yeah it opens up okay it opens up here so let's just move somewhere where it's not page one. Yep, so maybe here. And now I go back to the library and I go back to the document that they had. It should open on the same page. And it does. So it definitely remembers where each individual document was uh, when you close it. So it's a very, very welcome addition, especially when working with larger documents that you can simply continue uh, where you left off. Another thing that you will probably notice is that we no longer have that big loading uh, kind of tab over the pages when they are loading, which is a very, very cool thing. Plus it feels, I don't know if it feels just because the loading thing is now gone, um, but it feels faster. So the flipping between pages definitely feels more agile and yeah, you get to see it sooner. I think that's the main impression because loading was waiting for all of this processing to be done and then it kind of displays the whole page. Now you can see content as it's being loaded and sections of the screen refreshed. So for me, I definitely prefer this because it feels a little bit more immediate and a little bit more snappy. Here's one thing that I noticed when you hide the toolbar, you actually hide this option as well. So I can't really access my page pages layout or doc document layout with the toolbar hidden. And one more improvement is now, instead of just saying which page it is, it says page of, so three of 17. Again, very, very helpful. However, I'm not a big fan that I have to choose between the toolbar and the pages layout menu. So I would kind of disconnect those two because while I certainly want to use this, I might not want to use this upper toolbar in all uh, circumstances. So now if you are, for example, in a page itself, let's say here, and then I do a long press and we do the insert page. Now it actually gets inserted right after the page where we were. So this is a super handy way of actually adding an empty page that you can actually add some content, writings or notes regarding a certain page. And as you can see, when we go to the page layout, there it is. So this one has been inserted there. So I think that that's a really, really welcome addition. And I love the fact that it works straight out of the page itself, that you don't have to go to any menus or anything like that. You're just simply on the page that you want from the contextual menu, you just simply add it and that's it. So really, really cool to have that as well. Another addition is that when you use the home button, you have this new icon check update. So this is a new addition because before you had to kind of dive into the menus and go all the way in and all that kind of stuff, which was a little bit uh, yeah, cumbersome. And also it was a little bit tricky to find like where, where do I find my update uh, if you're not totally used to the platform. So this is really, really much, much improved to actually just have it press home. You have the uh, check update and you return to your workbook. And of course we have the split screen as the main big daddy O of the update 1.1 because now, and when you go to the side or the main toolbar menu at the bottom, you will have the split screen option. And when I 
click on the split screen option, it will divide the screen into two separate documents. And you will notice that we have identical control on both of them. One thing that you don't have is you don't have an option to have a toolbar active at the same time on both of them. I guess screen saving or maybe just one toolbar is allocated to document one or document two. It doesn't really matter, but you are now able to basically simply uh, hide toolbar on both of them. And then you have a very nice traditional clean looking um, yeah, split screen option. And of course they function totally independently. You can use it to either have um, yeah, one page and then the second page of the same document or you know, whichever page you want of the of the second document. Um, and of course, this second one can be anything that you want. So you can go back to the library. And even though it goes out into full screen landscape mode, which I really like, for example, this is cool to see that the um, platform can work in landscape. I wish we would have that as well. And maybe we do at some point. But anyway, I get distracted. Uh, you're simply out in the library to choose the document. Once you choose it, you're going to go back into the split screen mode. And the important thing to know Note here is that you are able to choose between local or cloud. You're not limited in any way, shape, or form. So that's kind of sweet to actually see. So yeah, let's say that maybe I will choose for the second one, one of my notes here that I'm using. So terrain workflow. And once that opens up, it opens up in this other one. And then I can just, uh, yeah, just basically jot down notes that I have from the document that I'm reading here. And then it actually works. Now, the same thing translates as before what I already mentioned, which is if you hide the toolbar, you don't have the numbers here. And that is a thing that would be cool to actually uh, have, especially when you're navigating through all of these things, basically to find your page layout. And again, throughout the whole thing, you can see that uh, landscape mode is something that is kind of beginning to work on uh, on Papyr, which is uh, maybe who knows, maybe that's just like a, a, a small introduction into what we're going to have. But the important thing is that, uh, yeah, Infinity or Unlimited Canvas works on these two guys separately. So you have a really, really cool way of doing all of these things. Uh, one thing that I would like to see is apart from yeah, disconnecting the page layout and the toolbar thing is it would be nice to have an option to actually uh, use the split screen of a single document or two separate documents, right? And then when you're using it in a single document that you could maybe read in a, in a landscape format so that you don't have to change pages manually if you're reading the same book so that you have like uh, page one and two, three, four, and that you can just swipe one and then they both swipe maybe or something. I think it would be an interesting way of actually doing that. But um, yeah, even as it is now, it really works great. It's not a big deal. It's just like a, a tiny little nice to have. Of course, you have the option of swapping screens and you can swap from either one of them. Finally, you also have the option of going here and choosing which one do you want to return to full screen. So I choose this one and I'm going to press full screen and it returns to full screen and that's that. So all in all, a really, really welcome addition. And I think that it works awesome. Uh, it's something that really helps a lot for um, a lot of practical issues. So I'm I'm very happy that uh, the split screen option is here. And I'm really, really happy to see what the tendency of um, quirk logic is. This is not a minor update. And this is an update deserving of a 0.1 kind of uh, uh, upgrade. So very nice to see. And finally, there are some improvements to the pen performance. It's an ongoing improvement process and they are doing a little by little by little by little every time. And actually, um, this time it does feel like an improvement. I do get an initial impression that it is a bit faster. But I'm going to fire up Desta now and see what we get from there so we can compare with the old results and see where we're at. One of the improvements that they say is decreased writing latency. And while I did get that kind of impression, it's still very mild. We'll see how that progresses in the next updates. As it is now, it's definitely on the milder side, but it's going in the right direction.
So that's how you do an update that's a new point version, you know, not just add a new font or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, I'm super happy to actually see this and it's moving in the right direction and I'm very, very much excited to see where they take the platform next. If this is an indication of how they're taking this platform that they've made and how they're taking their business, that's a very, very positive indication indeed. Quirk Logic Papier, it was a very special device to begin with and is becoming more powerful and more functional with these coming updates. So I can't wait to see what they have up their sleeves next. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider dinging the notification bell to get notified when the new videos come out. Also, if you wish to support the My Deep Guide and my work on My Deep Guide further, you can do so on Patreon, My Deep Guide, because that type of support not only makes it possible for me to focus more of my time on My Deep Guide, but also I can bring you better quality uh, type of videos and better type of more broad type of a content as well. All the official patrons get access to to um, kind of bloggy vloggy type of videos behind the scenes as a sort of a thank you for your generous support. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.